Baby, to win him some of my favor. My fist, I don't see fame, man. Ebi, I know, Ebi. Chocho, mucho. Yo, what's up? This is your Chocho, mucho. Bless. Keep watching on that GH TV. The best you can find. Bless. is fake. The word is plus. It's body weight. If I should tell you people I used to be a size six, you wouldn't believe me. So, thank you. <laughs> Debbie, what would you say has been the hardest thing about being in our industry and being plus sized? Apart from the fact that the industry has no money. <laughs> Uh, the question again. <laughs> you want it again? <laughs> Baby. Okay. You know there's no money in the industry, right? I know. Yeah. <laughs> no, but what has been the hardest thing? Any jobs that maybe you haven't been able to book because you're plus size? Or do you feel like maybe you're not looked? You may have the talent, but maybe because you're plus size, you might not get the gig. Okay, so just last year, Someone very close to me got the opportunity to put me on radio because the radio station asked for me. I was actually at the radio station for a very long time. And I don't know what happened. This year, they called me and they were like, the reasons the person gave was that apparently I couldn't handle myself. So I was still asking in which way was it um, being plus, or maybe I not fit for the job, or I don't really know. But I'm hoping um, other media houses will start looking my way. And of course, with money, not for free. When you're feeling down, like let's say when, when this personality, you know, took to wherever to speak negative about you, what what keeps you motivated? What keeps Miss Debbie going? I know definitely your kids. I don't have kids, so I'm surprised we are talking about kids. So now, basically, let's go straight down to the thing that keeps me motivated. Yes. Gifa Gray, thank you. I love you. I love you. I love you. <laughs> I love her. Okay, so. Um, one thing that keeps me motivated sincerely is God and where I have come from. I think um, one of these days I would hold a seminar to tell Ghanaians, I think what are the things I've been through in life. When I sit back, I don't know, um, how do you call it, um, I don't know tears. But I have cried the most. I am this person who um, I live, I dwell in positivity. And even if I'm sad, the next second I'm like, Charlie, Charlie, let's get real. I lost my phone on Saturday, and everything about Plus and Proud is on it. It took me six months. I was doing write-ups, I, I did it myself. You don't understand, nobody wrote anything for me. And they were in my notes. So on Saturday when my phone got lost, Sunday I was like, okay, Debbie, your lunch is the 22nd, everything is lost. And so what, should I postpone it? Then I said, okay, hey, hey, hey. get yourself together. If you are able to write, do research on the internet, and you wrote it yourself, small has sticked in your brain. So I said, okay, I'm still going to do this. And I was crying. The next second I said, oh, I think I think I can't make it myself. The phone is gone, and I'm worth more than the phone. Then I texted the two people who were there when the phone lost. I was like, Charlie, let's forget about the phone. Let's leave. So I overcome things easily, but I have gone through the worst things in life. Because if I should tell you people, 
a percentage of some of the things I've gone through. How many of you has ever had your landlord come and pack sand in front of your gate and you can't go out because your rent is due? Hello? Anybody here? Nice. Thank you. Thank you. And this is something that happened to me. And I had some people ask him, where are we going to sleep? What's going to happen? Oh, what are we going to do? I think I've seen it all. I've, I've seen it all. I'm inspired by the fact that someone would wish they are in my place. Even though my place is the hardest place to be. And I'm motivated by people. Some people will send me a message, Miss Debbie, you inspire me. Then I sit down and I'm like, oh Debbie, show Jimmy. Even you, you inspire someone. So get up and do something for yourself. Thank you. We definitely, definitely need the seminar. So we have to make that happen. So, um, oh Debs. Plus, I think she needs some champagne, but yeah. yeah. <laughs> I um, what can we look forward to in the upcoming months? And I want also you to let them know that it's not just about plus size. And Debbie picked me up. Someone when I came was like, girl, why are you here? You're not plus size. What? Yeah. <laughs> but you've uh -huh, been here. I heard him right there. <laughs> so I go, Philip, can I have to shoot And please? I said, um, it's all about supporting women and empowering Thank each you. other. We've Thank all you. gone through. I may not be plus size, but even my me, size, I've you don't always, want to. You don't, you, no. don't, you don't want to tell people what you have been through. But, you know. but um, I've always been the girl that's petite, that wanted to be fuller and thicker. All your so, friends are full. All the people around you are full. I've always wanted to be that girl, and I had to get comfortable with who I am. Yeah. So at the end of the day, it's all about us all being unapologetically happy with who we are and how we look and being comfortable. But yes, so what can we expect in the upcoming weeks and months when it comes to Plus and Proud 101 with Miss Debbie? Okay, so the first thing that we are gonna do after the lunch is a, a walk. We are going on a health walk. Now, most people see big girls are unhealth, like they are unhealthy, that's a lie. You can be healthy and be thick. So you can always be healthy and be extremely thick and you can rock yourself the way you want to be. So after the health walk, we'll have free health screening for all the ladies. And then right after that, we'll have our first ever seminar where we are going to bring people on board. Now, you were talking about the support. Sincerely, I think um, in Ghana, we only support ourselves on the internet. I'm sorry. We, we, we support ourselves. Hi, I miss you. I love you. Love you too. Bye. Oh, it's me. Oh, you are hot. You are sexy. Now, there are some real people who have supported me. And they are, they're my inspiration. I always call her my inspiration. She never understands. And then there are some people who are me. You guys would never understand what I'm saying. So there are people who are me. There are people who inspire me. The people who are me have been with me from nobody. I'm still a nobody because I know people still didn't believe I would get here. And I haven't gotten here because this is just the beginning. There are people who follow me on Instagram and someone once said to me, Miss Debbie, every day you are here, you are here, what do you do? And when she said it, I told her, oh, don't worry, very soon. I invited her, but she didn't come. I'm very sure she's still asking herself, what at all does this lady do? Now, there are some people who um, are different speeches. We don't run into certain things. It takes us time to get to wherever you are going. So you need to sit back, relax, and then do what no one is doing. Some people would say, oh, what is this class girl talking about? Now, this is the first ever in Ghana. Nobody has come up with a fully blown plus size project. The sad part is, I had no support, no sponsors. The last minute sponsors I had, they are me. So I felt like, ah, these people cry that they're sponsoring. 
it's it's weird. And then there's there's someone here that I was like, please, can you be my host? Yes. She was not like, Debbie, are you gonna pay me? What's gonna happen? That's how she talks. I know you people know who I'm talking about. She's right here. <laughs> and then another is my myself. She she has um her company logo on the banner. Hi, Priscilla. Can you please wave, please? Just wave. Okay, so please, that is one of the people. Oh, Priscilla, can you please wave? Can she stand? Please stand. So um, her husband um, surprised me yesterday. And then another person is Eleanor. Bitch, wake up. Wake up, honey. I'm sorry. Wake up. Wait, wait. Thank you so much for being there. And another person you never see her. We don't do hi. I love you on Instagram, but she checks on me. Hi, Debbie. How are you? Miss Jifa Gray. Yes, Jifa. Please, Jifa, you have to stand also. You don't understand. We can't see you. No, no, babe, don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> then let me tell you, people, my surprise. Twins don't be. Wave at them. Where are they? One half is there, the other one is down. No, they cannot be one half. Not the two there, of them. Yeah. <laughs> you know something? I've been with them and I'm still with them. And they have never let me down. Oh. They take pictures of me and people call them. They think I pay. I'm not paying money on a free. <laughs> Isis and Pearls, why is she? These people came together to surprise me. Then let me tell you people another secret. When I wear a dress and you think I paid for the dress, I just gave you my fabric home. African by Nana. Nana makes all my beautiful dresses. So if you don't know, yes. And people, people call him. And this person is somebody that has been with me. It was a mistake that I met him. I met Nana by mistake, but he came in as a blessing. These are people who, excuse me to say, you don't know where you meet your meter, then things up. So from Priscilla, from Chifa, I never knew them. Then all of a sudden, God brought them and then they became family. Then when I want to do anything, they are there. When I get broken heart, sometimes I text Vanessa. She's cool, you know? <laughs> she would answer you nicely. We've been through some good stuff. But people feel it's... We hardly do internet love. Yeah, because we have real love. There's, oh, there's a difference there's a between difference. internet. Yeah. We are, our job is... We have our job, but then we have our real life friendships. And, and that's all these that's people important. I've mentioned, let me tell you the exact truth, has never body shamed me. This is where I'm getting to. They have never made me feel like, oh, this girl, you are plus, you are fat, you are this. Never. I think one of them even gave me money to buy slim tummy tea when I needed one. Priscilla. <laughs> I was like, I want to lose weight. Do you remember? And she gave me money and I went to buy the tea. I drank it to Amasa, I did no job. <laughs> Forget it, it didn't work. Then I told myself, I've invested so much in slimming down. Hey, the gym people then chop my money out. <laughs> gym instructor. Hey, your ass is big. I'm like, I came to lose my stomach and my arms and my thigh. I have specific places. <laughs> <laughs> and they'll be like, oh, me wahua. I remember when I started gym in the whole Ghana, I was doing live video. Hey, hell to walk. Hey. me and you. After I paid six months, I told myself, Okay, come. Your mom is big, you are big. Some people are general, like naturally big bone. Accept yourself. Accept the way you are. But when I wear dresses, look at my picture. Look at the back thing. Look at my picture. Oh. So I've accepted myself for who I am. And I love it. I am totally loving it. I, I did a, pic, a, a photo shoot with someone and he was like, Oh, Miss Debbie, you are fine. Oh. Then I'm, I keep telling myself, babe, you are fine, you are fine. You are, I, I am fine, I am plus, and I'm fine.
feeling like Eileen at all. I'm fine, baby. I'm fine. Yes. I know we have a few questions in the audience, so we're gonna give you guys the opportunity to now ask Debbie any questions you want. You know, Debbie, Debbie will answer every and any question. So don't be shy um, to, to, to let her know what's on your mind. If you have just an opinion, if you have just a comment, wh whatever it is, Debbie's here for you. So if you have a question, just raise your hand. I know you guys, don't be shy. Okay. Oh, since you're here.